Hey guys, today we are going to do image geometry or we will understand the concept of pinhole camera. That is in image geometry we will simply map a 3D object into its 2D image. So here we will be using a pinhole camera. So a pinhole is an opaque sheet with a tiny hole in it. That is this is the pinhole and this is our 2D image plane. This is the tiny hole in the pinhole camera and this is our 3D object and this is the optical axis. This one is the optical axis and now we will take a point on the 3D object say it to be PI or let us say it to be PO. Now we will map this map this point on our 2D plane. So it will come out to be over here that is this will be our image plane that is this will be PI. So this vector let us name this vector to be R0 or the object vector and let us name this vector to be RI. And now the distance from the center center of the image plane to the uh, pinhole camera is known as the focal length that is F. I'll repeat it again that is the different distance from the center of the image plane to the center of the pinhole camera is known as the focal length and now let us uh, write the x and y axis that is, is the z axis and this is the x axis and perpendicular to both of them will be y axis so now we have our pinhole camera we have our 3d object and we also have our 2d image plane and we have mapped this point of the object on our image plane using the pinhole camera. So now we are going to uh, find out the relation between the points uh, on the image plane as well as on the 3D object. So now we will write the coordinates of R0 as X0, Y0 and Z0. That is, this is for the object plane. That is this part. And we will similarly write the uh, vectors or the coordinates for the RI part that is the RI vector which is for the image plane as XI, YI and F. Instead of Z we will have F as it is the distance between the uh, center of the image plane and the pinhole camera. And now we will make a triangle that is let me change the color that is let us consider this triangle. And let us consider this triangle. So now using the property of similar triangles. Using similar triangles we can get that Ri vector upon F is equal to R0 vector upon Z0. So this is the part Z0 and we can say that Ri upon f is equal to r0 upon z using similar triangles that is this segment upon this segment is equal to the ri vector segment upon the z0 segment so that is what we have written here that is ri vector upon f is equal to r0 vector upon z0 so now similarly from this we can get that xi upon xi upon f is equal to x0 upon z0 as r0 is denoted by these three so we can also write that yi upon f is equal to y0 upon z0 now z0 is the component of the 3d plane or we can say that it is the depth of a point in 3d that is this is z0 that is z this part is z0 so we can say that z0 is component it is a component of the 3d plane 3d plane and it is also known as or it is called as the depth of the point in 3d so according to our above figure we can say that the depth of point phi p p naught from the pinhole camera is at a distance of z naught so we can say that the depth of p naught from the pinhole camera is z naught so from there we will get z0 so now let us draw another diagram 
that is let us first draw the image plane then let us draw the optical axis and then this is the pinhole part that is the pinhole camera part the hole in between then we will have a plane planar scene that is it is a planar 3d scene with the length of this segment as d naught and this point as a naught and this as b naught so now let me write the coordinates of a naught a naught has coordinate as x naught y naught and z naught and b naught has coordinate as del x naught plus x naught del y naught plus y naught and del and only z naught as the only x and y planes are changing and z naught will remain same so these are the coordinates of a naught and b naught and d naught is the length of the object segment now similarly we will map this image using the pinhole camera onto a 2d plane that is this is a 2d image plane this is our planar scene and this is the pinhole camera this is the optical axis and as discussed earlier the distance from the center to the pinhole camera will be denoted by the f or the focal length now similarly we will map this image over here that is we will get b over here it will be denoted by bi and this point will be denoted by ai and the length of this segment that is the length of the image segment will be denoted by di so now we will write the coordinates of ai and bi that is ai will be given by xi yi and bi will be given by xi plus del xi comma yi plus del yi here the z component won't be there as it is a 2d image plane so now we will write the formula for magnification this is the most important part and please pay attention to this that is magnification denoted by m it is given by the length of the segment of image divided by the length of the segment of the object of the object seen that is this part so from the above diagram we know that the length of the segment of the image that is di will be given by this that is di and similarly the length of the segment of the object will be given by d naught so this is the formula for magnification and now from perspective projection just a minute let me change the color now from perspective projection we can say that xi by f is equal to x naught by z naught and similarly we can say that yi by f is equal to y naught by z naught we had already discussed this with that how we got it we use the property of similar triangles or we can also say perspective projection in order to get the y by y naught yi by f equal to y naught by z naught so similarly over here also we have got the same relation now similarly as we know that the value of b naught and bi is different from a that is it is xi plus del xi upon f is equal to x naught plus del x naught by z naught so this is a relation for d for b sorry so for b and this is for a and now we can say that uh, yi plus del yi upon f is equal to y naught plus del y naught by z naught so these two relations are for b and these two relations are for a so from a and b from a and b we can get that is from a and b we can write that del xi upon f is equal to del x naught upon z naught or we can also write that del yi upon f 
is equal to del y naught upon z naught. This is the relation that we have got from A and B. So now let us write another thing that is the final formula for magnification that is for magnification m we know that we earlier derived the formula that di that is the uh, that is the length of the image upon the length of the object distance segment is equal to f naught by z naught so this is our final relation for magnification or we can write that m is equal to f by z naught where f is the focal length z naught is the depth in the 3d plane and m is the magnification so we are here we can see that m is directly proportional to the inverse of depth this is a very important relation and it is often asked in exams that what is the relation between the depth that is the depth and magnification so now there is a another property of uh, magnification that m will always be negative that is m is negative when the image formed when the image that is formed is inverted suppose we have an image like this and the image that we are forming is like this that is the inverted image then the magnification will be negative will be taken to be negative so here we are taking the mod sign so whenever the image is inverted the magnification will be negative it is a property of magnification so now let us come back to the relation of m inverse m is equal to inverse of z naught that is magnification is directly proportional to the inverse of the depth so now let me show uh, show you this with an example now let us say we have an image of a railway track say this is the railway track these are the trees and this is a railway track so you must be noticing that the railway track is going to converge and it looks like that it is going to meet at infinity but in reality we every one of us have seen a railway track it is parallel they are parallel lines and they never meet that is they neither meet at infinity neither they meet at any point uh, in the plane but here in the image we will see that it looks like that the uh, magnification that the uh, tracks will uh, will touch each other or will intersect each other at the point of infinity but that is that is not true so this happens because magnification is inversely proportional to the depth so now let me explain it to you with another example suppose a person this is a camera and a person is standing close to it at a distance of 10 meters and there is another person who is standing over here at a distance of say 30 meters so the image of the uh, that the image that we will see which will be formed by the camera will show a magnified image of person a let us say this is person a this is person b so we will see a magnified image of person a whereas a small image of person b will be visible to us this is because the distance of the person from the camera is much more than the distance of the camera of person a which is only 10 meters so this is the uh, this is what this happens because the magnification is inversely proportional to the depth that means higher the depth lower will be the magnification so as we can see that in the case of person b the depth is 30 meters that means z naught is high due to which the magnification is low so that is why we see a smaller image that is it is not magnified whereas in the case of person a in the case of person a we know that the depth is only 10 meters that is the distance from the image that is the distance from the camera is only 10 meters so that is the z naught is low due to which the magnification is high so that is why we see an enlarged image or a magnified image of person a so now we also have another relation with respect to magnification and area that is the area of the image upon area of the object is equal to the square of magnification so this is another property of magnification so in total we have discussed three properties that is first one is that the m is negative whenever the image formed is inverted the second property is that the magnification is inversely proportional to the depth 
and for that we discuss two examples that is this example a and this is example b and lastly we discuss the third property that area of the image upon the area of the object is equal to the square of the magnification so you guys if you have any doubt please write in the comment section and i will try to resolve it as soon as possible and if you were able to understand the uh, concepts discussed in this video just write wow in the comment section and it would be great to know that you were able to understand it it is a very important concept of image geometry and pinhole camera and you should be able to drive this all of this in the exam just write this write this in your notebook and if you want me to share the pdf i'll share the pdf in the description below and do not forget to subscribe the channel as it motivates me to create more such videos so thank you see you in the next one